Hey, Come how are in. you? I'm Jackson. Good. Anna, nice Anna. to meet you. Hey, Ben. Hey, Ben. Just sit down. All right. <laughs> Who's this? That's Daniel. Hi, Daniel. So in general, what's going on with Lucifer? We are dealing with a case of food obsession, sometimes bordering on food aggression. Because he'll eat everybody else's food. Oh yeah, they don't seem to have a fear of open flame. I've woken up in the middle of the night to find the gas on. Whoa. I've woken up in the middle of the night to find a flame on. Wow. Um, I think our cats might be trying to kill us. What a terrifying concept to wake up in the middle of the night with the gas on or an open flame. Uh, or something worse could happen because these cats aren't afraid of open flames. So we have since child-proofed our Okay, stove. so you've done that too. We just don't leave anything out. Everything's locked up all the time. So if we're cooking, we either have to lock them away or be guarding everything all the time. It's just incessant. We've gotten to this place where it's just so frustrating because we feel like we've done everything we can possibly do and we still have that fear of making a mistake. Anna and Ben have done a lot. They make changes every time their cats show a little bit of ingenuity. They slam it down, but they can't get ahead of the game. I want you guys to go through your normal feeding routine with the exception that we're not gonna separate the cats. All right. We just want them all eating in the same place at the same time so I can see how bad it actually can get. Oh, yeah. Now, of course, yeah. oh, there we go. as you're Next doing this, time. they are all over the stove. Luke, Luke. Psst. Hey, 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 hey. Are you kidding me? Asking you shall receive. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? It's like these cats have been starving for a week. They just charge the cabinets. They're not dainty about anything. All three of your cats have serious food drives. Let me tell you something. I've dealt with a lot of food aggression, a lot of food obsession from cats, but I've never felt as bad for a couple of guardians as these guys because Ben and Anna, although they're committed to solving the problem here, you can tell they're at their wits end. So I want to take this opportunity to just hang out with them a little bit. All right. Food can't be the be all and end all if you're a cat. The process of securing food that is the be all end all. I wanna see if these guys have that connection to their raw cat, to their instincts. If I can get these cats as interested in hunting and playing as they are with the act of eating, I got a leg to stand on, otherwise I got nothing. <laughs> wow. You are born to do this. They are obsessed with hunting. I mean, they're going after the toy with the same kind of veracity as they went for the food. The raw cat is just blossoming out of all three cats. <laughs> Seriously? That's really cool wow. though. <laughs> well, Lucifer, the good news is that Luke is like, I want that toy. I want that bird and you can hang on to the treats for now, I'll come back for that. That's what we wanted because it gives me an approach, an in to their life that I didn't have before. I want to remove the perception that you're powerless. Your cats, and this is all of them, not just Luke, are incredibly wonderful, what I call raw cats. They are in touch with their hunters, right? They look like wild cats when they are following a toy. Now, the very beginning of your homework is going to be speaking to the raw cat. They're eating dry food right now. I want you to start making the transition to a raw diet. I think that that's really going to satisfy them in a way that they're not being satisfied. You can buy raw food at a lot of different pet stores. They come frozen, you thaw them out, and there you have raw meat with the supplements that the cats need, and it's great that that's available. One other thing I want you to change is I want you to institute what are called slow feeder bowls. Uh, slow feeder bowls are bowls that have bumps in them, little walls, things like that. It's going to force Luke to slow down his eating. I don't want you to have to separate these guys during feeding. I don't think there's any reason that you would have to if they're all eating at a normal pace. Because they're slowing the process down of chewing and swallowing, their body can register feeling full and that compulsion has a chance to be a little mellowed out. Your next piece of homework is what I call the three R's. And the three R's are routine, ritual, rhythm. So the idea is that when you have a routine around feeding, and that becomes a ritual, and those rituals repeated day after day become their rhythm. Hunt, catch, kill, eat. This is my life, this is what I've got to do. Play is gonna become a precursor to the meal, okay? We have to get them tired. 
<laughs> Seeing that these three cats will choose the hunt over the kill tells me that if we institute playtime before meals, we can get something very natural out of their system so that the eating itself is not so desperate and frenetic. One more piece of homework. Well, we're gonna use deterrence. So there are remote deterrents that you put up, and I just want them up when you're not in the room. So you set up these little air canisters, so as soon as they jump up on that counter, psh, and then down they go. Any place where there is food, there's going to be a little blaster. Have you tried it before? No, but I love this idea. <laughs> I've never heard of this. <laughs> yes. Now clearly the countertops are a problem in this house. By using the deterrence, we're letting them know this is not the best place for you to go. Not we the humans shall punish you, but the space itself doesn't want you there. I will be back in a few weeks. The homework that Jackson gave us can help us make some progress and we're ready to try it. All right, bye guys. Bye. Here. Hello. Hello. Come on in. How have things been with you guys? Things have been okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you had to work do that in progress. Look. You had to do that look. <laughs> Let's go through your video homework because I know you guys have a lot of stuff to show me. Luke has already destroyed three of these fishing line toys. You got a simmer, buddy. Yeah, baby. <laughs> you don't get any more raw than that, man. The like, This is my kill. That is fantastic. Fantastic. This is what we want from these cats. Their behavior is extreme behavior of what I call the raw cat, the natural cat, the ancestral cat. That's what Luke is doing. And now he's got it channeled into the right place. Okay, so moving on. Hey, so I got these super cool uh, deterrent thingies. I'm gonna put it over here by the sink. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Deterrents, I think, are working. There you go. Yeah. Okay, so let's place these down here. We got the raw food out. It is pasted up against the walls of these slow feeders. They're put in the right place at the right time. It is time now to free the beasts and please let this go well. Okay, here we go. Oh, and here we go. Here we go, cats. Nice going, guys. There we go, perfect. Do you see how slow mealtime is at the moment? Yeah, do you notice actually, that, yeah. Do you notice that nobody's hopping yeah. from bowl to bowl? They can't really go after each other's food. They're focused on getting the food out of their bowl. Good job, dudes. Yay, civilized mealtime, yay! All right, guys, everything here is set up. Cats aren't calling the shots anymore around here. The humans are laying down the rhythm of this household, not the cats. This is the way it should be.